So this is the road less traveled. When we talk about going into academics, coming to meetings, you know, getting more insight, there are all types of rules. And I'll speak to you from the, from the perspective primarily of the surgeon scientist. Many of you are here to consume evidence and many of you here are present. But remember, you start with failure at the beginning, not at the end. You look at it, we hypothesize, and many of the hypotheses today at the IOA meeting haven't necessarily been met. But you see when you look through this, these simple, simple rules are intuitive. But the hard part is we absolutely have to do them. We have to actually not just talk, we have to actually do. And at the end of the day, you never, never end with, if you don't like what you're doing, you need to figure out what it is you're good at and then do it. In fact, Professor David Sackett said it was an overwhelming desire to address serious problems. And that gets down to the point of it. If we don't address serious problems as a community, we're not going to move our field forward. And if we're going to address serious problems, we have to spend a lot of time. Now, in India, the one thing I know for a fact is you have no shortage of patience and no shortage of ideas. And really what we have to do is figure out which of those ideas makes sense to answer the big global questions. And in fact, that's the hard part. It's fun. It's extremely enjoyable to say we're starting a new trial. It's extremely enjoyable to say we're going to write and publish when you're at the meeting here. But you know the hard part? The hard part is the years you toil and toil away where you think your trial is not going to get done, things are not moving in the way you want it to move, and that is why every single one of you should not lose hope. That's why we come together, and that's how we get this job done. Professor Gordon Guyot, who still works at McMaster today, many, many years ago, 20 years ago said, have two words in your mind when we were talking. He's been a mentor of mine for many, many years. And he said, think big. And I thought at that time, okay, that's a nice statement. It's a very nice statement, but what does it ultimately mean to think big? We can all have great ideas. We can all think of all the things we'd like to do. But fundamentally, it's only now in the last few years where I've looked back and reflected on how powerful that word is 